Okay. So, Rick spilled a little bit of milk on the pulpit. It's unholy. We cannot have this. <laughs> so, I just have a little story to share with you guys. Um, this is just a lesson that I learned actually here at Momentum. Um, so it was probably about two years ago. Um, I, it was actually tax season, um, the best season there is. Um, and I was getting a tax return, a big one, and I was really excited. Um, I had about $600 saved up in my savings account um, after like months of saving because I was also getting married, so I was buying a dress and saving for a camera. <laughs> so I had $600 saved up for a camera, and the money that I was going to get from my tax return was going to equal the amount that I needed for the, the camera that I really wanted. Um, and so, anyways, I got my taxes done, and I came into Momentum all happy because it was, like, perfect, just the amount I needed. And we're, we're worshiping, and during worship, actually, side note, have you guys ever heard a, a pastor preach on hearing God's voice? And you're like, what is, still, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard God's voice, or, you know, it's kind of like that gray area of, like, is he going to open the clouds or is he going to like write me a note or like send me something in the mail? Um, so this was one of those moments where I was like, I think I just heard God's voice. Like, but this was the first time that I had ever experienced that. So anyways, I was worshiping and God said, give that money to this family who was struggling with um, two, the two parents had cancer and they one of the mother actually had just got a mastectomy and the dad was going through colon cancer and their son had just passed away and it was just I knew the son like just as an acquaintance and I didn't even know them very well but I felt God speak to me and say give that money to them and I was like what <laughs> I think I just heard God tell me to do something that's so crazy so I'm like are you sure? Like, I want that camera really bad. <laughs> and like, am I just making this up? Am I just emotional or what is it, you know? And anyways, I, I prayed a little and felt like it's better if I give that money and I just gave the money and God didn't really tell me to than if he actually had told me to and I disobeyed him that would have been horrible. So I was just like, I'm just going to give the money. I'm too afraid of what God will do if I don't give the money. So I ended up going over there and talking to them, and, and they, they were so kind, and they invited me into their home, and um, they just talked to me. And I gave them a card, and they didn't know that it had money in it, but they were just so nice and loving and happy. They were joyful, even considering the circumstances. And so anyways, I talked to them for a little bit, and I left, and probably about two days later, she messaged me on Facebook and just said, oh my gosh, that was the biggest blessing. We had been praying for someone to give us money, and we've been struggling. We have this many medical bills, and, and at the time, all I had known was just that their son had died, and I thought maybe that they would need the money for the burial or something, and, um, but I, I hadn't known about their cancer, and so she, yeah, that's when she told me about like all of the medical bills that they had, and so that was crazy. I was just blown away by that situation. But then about two weeks later, someone from Momentum came up to me and said, hey, I heard, I heard you have been saving up for a camera. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah. And she said, well, my friend is selling a camera for $600. And it was like a perfect camera for me, like exactly what I wanted. And I'm like, $600, that's exactly how much I have in my bank account right now. Like, who, who would have ever thought I could get a used camera for $600 versus, like, $1,500 camera that I wanted, you know? So that was just something that I learned, like, when, when I thought that I heard God's voice, just taking that step in faith and obeying that maybe, maybe it wasn't him, but maybe it was. So I'm just going to step out in faith knowing that I will be blessed or, I mean, God is faithful. So you can just trust that he will be faithful and 
obeying him is just the right thing. So yeah, that's my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. (laughs) 